destroy it, and then bring back in everything line by line. Since 1965, on the waterfront of downtown Santa Barbara, California, there lies a weekly art show. Every Sunday, local artists and businesses gather to not only share their craft, but also to share their love for art. So I've been in the show since 1980, and I've always showed up, even during COVID, always showed up. This art show has been like home for me, every phase of life that I've been through. So I started making visors like this out of strange fabrics and materials. I also painted a couple murals in town, and I really like stretching my limit. I mean, this show has been around for 58 years. It's the longest running show in the country, and so tourists know to come here and that's how we make a living. It's, it's very rare that this show exists. So it's, it's a very big part of the community. I take all the photos myself and I print everything. I build every frame, hand stretch every piece. It's taken a while to learn how to do that, but it is vital for the show that you have to do that. My art impacts the local community in Santa Barbara because I'm part of a unit. I'm not here alone. I'm here with all these other people who also have that aha moment in their life and stuck to it. Santa Barbara is so beautiful, you want to create something beautiful. And always trying to create something, people love it and appreciate it. So that's why my idea always going around and find the uh, good subjects, beautiful beaches we have here. And make sure, you know, we take care of the environment as well, because it's really important. It's like being in heaven, being right here, being outside every single day, one whole day out of the week for all these years. We have one mission as a like artist, bring the art, teach that to the next generation, so that way we keep continuing. If there's more art in this world, we're gonna have a more peace, more love. Art is always bring the love and peace. This art show serves as a canvas for artists sharing their creativity and hopes to continue for years to come. This has been Sophia Pixley reporting for DP News.